And my mama said, whenever you go to somebody's house, you have to give them something. Oh, Don't okay. come empty handed. Right. So um, I have green lipsticks, one for it. Yes. Your first wife. I mean, my first wife. I mean, <laughs> I mean. Do you know something I don't? Oh. Is this the future oh, of political interviews? Glazelle is a YouTube star. 42 million people watched her try to eat cinnamon. <laughs> but she managed to get the big interview with Barack Obama after his State of the Union address. The president also announced some of his policies on Facebook and LinkedIn and even put a copy of his speech on the blogging site Medium. In Washington, they get social media as a campaign tool and a way of mining voters for data and money. You have to capture people and making, uh, making your policy into something that's shorter, that's more entertaining, that's more pithy, that is, that is more visual, that's exactly what you need to be doing to help persuade voters and then win an election. Experts say the 2015 general election will be like no other before in the UK, thanks to platforms like Twitter. Tools already being used in the US can track real-time reaction to political speeches and where it's coming from. The best way to gain a vote today is no different than it was 100 years ago in the US or the UK. It's that look in the eye, it's that handshake saying, can I have your vote? And that's difficult to do when you have a country of millions of people. And now tools like Twitter allow voters and candidates to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship again in a meaningful way. No question, social media helped keep Barack Obama in the White House. He won the digital battle in 2012, and his team raised almost $700 million online. But according to today's report, back in the UK, politicians are still a long way behind. Hi, I'm Molly Malone, I'm 22 and I'm a student. Stand Up Be Counted is a Sky News campaign helping young people make their voices heard. So what happened when we sent a 22-year-old to interview one MP who isn't on Twitter? I think we should actually be concentrating on what we're doing on the floor of the House. But what if they're using a hashtag to engage in the, in the conversation that you're having in the chamber to, and you can see their opinions even after the session, but to see what the young people are saying and what they have to say about the comments that are being aired? I haven't a clue what a hashtag is. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit modern, isn't it? It seems not everyone is convinced by the digital revolution. Sophie Ridge, Sky News in Washington.